from the from the outset, most would say Lockie O'Brien is a very skilled player, but I think across all aspects, it'd be Alex McCarthy. He's a um, phenomenal kick, great overhead mark, play stoppage really well, great below his knees, better than that most people have seen. So he he's probably the one. Jack Gerrish would have to be number one, just the preparation that he does. His body skin fat percentage would be lower than anyone's in the AFL. Uh, does sprint training in pre-season. I'm not sure if he needs to get any quicker. I wouldn't mind him slowing down a little bit if, if I could have it any other way. But he, he, he prepares like a real professional. Tom Boyd is probably the hard man. You know, he, he drives a really hard standard and he's hard to play on. And he's um, he's a real leader for us, captain of, captain of our club. And I think we get both sides of it, given Alex Markley. You know, you get that real jovial character who's, you know, what is probably the heart and soul of the group. And then you've got the hard trainer, standard driver, been in an elite system, willing to do the work and he'll, he'll, he'll He'll crash and bash during training and, and make people earn their positions and you know, he's probably the hard man. Uh, Lockie O'Brien. Yeah, Lockie O'Brien. Phenomenal kick. One of the best kicks I've seen. But Lockie's situation's really unique, you know, he's 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 got a lot of time uh, with his life and I think he's found a real love for this club and wanting to help, you know. He he played wing for 60 games in the AFL so I know our wingers have been spending a lot of time with him even though he's not playing that position with us he's been spending a lot of time with our wingers and helping them and oh, he reviews the game more than me he, he he's, he's crazy about it and I think that's why he was able to succeed at the level he did but he's been really well welcomed and you know he, he him himself has done the work to earn the respect of the group he travelled up here countless times on Thursdays during pre-season to train with the group and just embed himself into what we're doing and most people would say your high-end recruits don't commit to that level that's probably the stereotype you know they've done the work so they don't need to keep doing the work but he, he he's continuing to do it which is nice Alex Marku easy just go look at Ovens and Murray Lives comment section that will <laughs> that will tell the complete story he's nearly got um, two personalities he can be hyper serious and very emotional and on the other heart of, side of it he can be uncontrollably immature to a degree <laughs> um, but he's he's been here for his whole life you know you go walk through the, the hallway and you'll see a photo of him in front of his dad when they won a premiership I think they won the last premiership uh, he, he's you know he's a big part of this club and he's just a, he's a full character don't know how he thinks of half the things he thinks of Shane Gaston brings his own soap, brings his own full toiletries, doesn't get out, tells everyone how well he played. I think he tells people he was in the 45s all day and we should have hit him a bit more. But he still doesn't realise he's a ruckman. So Shane has been in those showers for a phenomenal amount of hours over his 15, 16 years he's been here. I would love to get the data on how long that's been. 